Alright guys, so I'm using the um, Autofix Bluetooth 3210 on the 2019 150 Prado. Just left permanently plugged in, so anytime I want to have a look at something, I just open the app on the phone. And this is what I've got sitting on what we call the dashboard. There's an area that's called the dashboard. I'll show you what I mean. Like you can have, you know, whatever you, you can change that to whatever you want. That's engine coolant temperature. You can have a couple things. That's load and engine coolant ECT, right? Engine coolant temperature. And here we've got ECT load, math map, the vehicle speed, and EGT. So you can choose whichever ones you want. You can change the sizes of them and a few things like that. Quite a lot of settings there. So engine coolant temperature, load. MAF, that's the mass airflow, MAP reading 95, speed zero, we're not moving, and the EGT is 128, and you can watch that go up quite a lot. Um, now I'll just show you something else, if you go out of dashboard, go diagnostic, just let it do its quick check for a minute, and then go data stream, you can go through a whole heap of other parameters anyway, I just wanted to show you because I was quite surprised, and I'm not sure if this is only on um, the 1GD, but I was quite surprised to see exhaust gas temperature at times three guys there's three sensor one sensor two sensor three so that's what they are refreshes every few seconds each parameter and depending what screen you look at it on how long it takes to refresh but there's quite a lot of them that refresh about every six seconds but then on other screens things are different like on the dashboard it happens a bit quicker on some of the parameters so anyway it's really good it's got EGTs there just thought I'd show you that um, depending which sensor you use you can choose the one you want to have on your dashboard in our case dashboard I think I've gone for EGT there is sensor one so to change it you just hold your finger on it hang on you go what do you do you go PID setting PID so at the moment it's going to detect which ones are available there's a whole heap of settings there you can play with this all day lockdown 2020 just thought I'd quickly show you a bit more info though. In case you're interested in getting one, obviously this week you can save a bit of money. Then they're direct off Trevor. So we'll go all the way to the bottom and you tick the one you want. At the moment it's on one. Let's go two. Okay, so you've got one, two, and three, and then you press okay. Doing it left handed. Okay, I think that's right. And it'll come up. There you go, see? Bada bing, bada boom. Hope that helps, guys. See hey guys, so we're still just playing with this Autofix Bluetooth uh, 3210. OBD DTC scanner um, basically what I've done is I've created what should be a code so let's see what happens let's uh, let's start the car let's do that okay so the car's running should have an engine light yep there it is so this is the problem this is the problem okay if you don't have something, oh look, check engine. Reduced engine power. Oh, f***ing dealer. What are you gonna do? Pre-crash safety malfunction. Oh no. Okay, so what we do, we go over here, open up our, if I can use my left finger. Okay, scanning, devices connecting, because the Bluetooth's already plugged in, right? As per the other videos, it just stays there. Connected successfully, okay. What do we want to do? Diagnostic, it's gonna run a scan detecting. Bang, P0400, mass or air volume sensor flow circuit. So you don't need to get the code, like with a scan gauge. You just, boom, there's the information, it's on board, okay? It's come up straight away with all that information. Now, I can tell you why that's happened. I'll show you switched off the engine the engines off just to show you I purposely look at this hey this camera right I've turned the light on <laughs> how good's that so we can get in the dark see how dark it is it's quite dark I'm in a garage just trying to get a bit of quiet and look at this as I go in close just want to show you how good this is I'm a bit excited about things because look I can show you stuff down in under there look at that don't even have to shine a light anyway what this is about is we've disconnected that math sensor, mass airflow. That's why we had that code. So let's go back in and see how to clear it. So we're back in here. You don't have to start the car, but let's just start it anyway. That way we're not draining. We're not draining the battery. Okay, start it up. We've reconnected it. See the problem you've got though? Let's have a look at the problem. Let's turn that light off now, eh? 
Where, how do we do that? Come on, Anthony, figure it out. Where's the button to turn off the light? Ah, uh, hang on a minute. How do we do that? Ah, oh, I think I have to stop it again to turn it off. Oh, well, look, same deal anyway. Pre-crash safety, engine lights on. So over here, what do we want to do? Once we fix the problem, clear code. Penny does it may not be in it or whatever anyway. Okay, clear code successfully. Right, now, we'll rescan. Sorry about that light, but it works. Oh, all oh, clear. Look, no more lights on the dash. Okay, now given you're not normally going to cause a, a fault yourself, but you may have taken the vehicle for a service recently to some of these kids and they might have left something unplugged or not plugged it in properly, then it falls off while you're away on a trip, or maybe some water's got it. Look, let's just not waste time going through. Things happen. I call it ghosts, okay? There's a lot of ghosts, if you like. There's ghosts. Because sometimes we never actually... Uh, find a fault because you know it pops up you've got an engine light you might have to call a tow truck call RAC whoever NRMA and there's nothing to be found so if you could have a device like this plugged in ready to go keeps you out of trouble now let's move on I'm gonna do another video and put that up basically testing out these other units we're not testing them out we provide a bit of information but we're gonna plug them in have a play around and show you what they do we're really impressed with this one I'll just show you again while we're at it um, so you've got the data stream, uh, what's it called, yeah, data stream, oh, it's disconnected because I've turned, you've got to have the, you've got to at least have the power on, and that is, like that, with the lights on the dashboard lit up, you'll see all this data, will come back to us in a minute, it probably might need a refresh or something, I don't know, but look, there it is connecting, you've got to wait for it to connect. Look, it connects and works really well, it's really been faultless as far as I can see, um, and just take it to another car. Sometimes when you take it to another car, you might have to fiddle around a bit and a bit of a refresh thing going on. Uh, what else was I going to say? I've got more than one phone that connects to it. So if I take the, the work phone or the private phone, whichever one, either one will connect to it. You can set them up differently. The app, you can personalize. So this app here, you can personalize that and you can have it different on a different phone. So you might have one set of readings on your phone and a different set of readings on... Your wife's phone or something she might want to look at <laughs> she might be more interested in the boost and you want to look at the coolant temperature anyway no just joking guys anyway something that i think you should all have seems really reliable so far i like it um bada bing bada boom see ya